This Earth Day, environmentalists are encouraging you to take small actions that make a big difference. Things you may not have thought of, like waiting to pick up the rake as to not disturb bees and other small insects. They're still living in our flower beds and in our lawns. Well, some of the bees will actually nest inside uh, old twigs and things like that, so you can actually be throwing out their cocoons that the bees are going to emerge from. Uh, if you're disturbing the soil and removing all the leaf material from the soil, uh, it just removes some of the insulation protection for those soil nesting bees. Just because you don't see them, it doesn't mean they're not there. Their cocoons look just like the leaves and twigs they nest in. Curry is also encouraging people to maintain a plant variety that bees can forage in all summer long. The thing to think about is that you need a succession of forage, and it's not just the typical beautiful flowers that flower in your garden. Shrubs and trees also uh, provide various uh, forms of uh, forage for the bees. These native species are easily grown in a yard or on a patio. They have colorful flowers and their leaves can double for use in teas. And while some worry about attracting bees to their lawns, an entomologist at the Living Prairie Museum says it's not as big a concern as you might think. The nice thing about bees is that they don't really want to sting unless they absolutely have to. So some information on the Bee Better website does include uh, not worrying about stings and some of the background information about um, why stinging isn't as big an issue as you may think. The experts say it's imperative everyone does their part to restore and maintain a healthy bee population. About 30% of the food that we eat is uh, derived from pollinated plants that are bee pollinated. So protecting and preserving uh, pollinators is really critical for our own diversity of our food supply, our new home, human nutrition. And it's also important just for the ecology of the environment because a lot of the plants that are out in the ecosystems are bee pollinated, so they require those bees. Both experts were involved in creating a website that launched today, giving more information on how to support the declining bee populations. It's beebettermb.ca. In Winnipeg, Stephanie Lasuk, City News.